Hi kiddos, Hetzel here coming at you with some important information for this session. Um, so we are now in our third week of unit two. And in our first two sessions, we spent a lot of time trying to define what an editorial is. Um, we've looked through our inquiry process at what editorials sometimes do, what they always do, and what they never do. And we've really gotten a pretty good feel for what an editorial is. And now it's time to start thinking of what you want to write about for your own editorial. So this week we're going to be uh, really laying the foundation and getting your rough draft ready to be submitted by uh, Tuesday night. So we will be really um, brainstorming your ideas. We'll be going through the writing process. And each of these steps, you guys, have been really, really broken down. So it's going to be really important that when you are looking at your suggested schedule that you stay on track with this schedule for this week. Um, this week is a lot of work for you, but this is the work that will really make your 150 points of your editorial easy to get. So if we can follow through on each one of these steps, you'll do a much better job writing your editorial overall. Um, so please make sure you access the materials in the order that they're presented and that you stick with our suggested pacing schedule that's um, available on the, uh, it's called Unit 2, Session 3 plan page. So as you begin working on this session, um, please really make sure that you're careful to go in the order and go sequentially because it, everything builds off one another. Um, and those of you that are my perfectionists out there, please remember that this is a writing process and that I don't expect it to be perfect yet. I don't even expect it to be at grade level yet or even to proficiency yet. Um, this is where I get to help you develop as a writer and it's through seeing your rough draft. Um, so what you put together this week for your rough draft is really going to help me work with you as a writer. Um, you will each be writing your editorial draft in a Google Doc this week, and then you will be submitting that Google, draw, uh, Google Doc to the Dropbox, and I will be leaving you comments on your Google Doc about what I'm seeing, what needs to be improved, do you have any little errors that need to be changed, um, but really it's going to be me guiding you and giving you an idea of what needs to be done for you to reach that proficiency mark of a 75% on this assignment. Uh, this is an assignment that you have to reach a 75% on, guys. You cannot squeak by with a 60. Uh, I'm going to hold you to the fact that you're going to need to earn a 75% before moving on. Um, so please know that this essay may take you several, several drafts um, before you meet proficiency, and that's okay. Um, remember, I'm all about working with you and supporting you and being there for you and helping you through each step. So if you are confused by any of the information that you see this week, please make sure you reach out to me. Um, I'm available all the time, guys, 7 to 7 usually. Um, oh, please, Tucker needs me. So knowing that this assignment is a proficiency assignment and that you must reach a 75%, um, which means 112 out of 150, guys, um, you're going to be expected to reach that 75%. So what kind of things are going to keep you from reaching that 75%? Well, the most common thing I see, guys, is that you're missing your citations. Uh, an editorial must be um, properly cited, and you have to have a works cited page. So those are things right there that automatically will take you down to below proficient. Um, not having sufficient evidence to support your ideas. You need to have a minimum of two specific detailed pieces of evidence that directly correlates to your idea. Um, please make sure you have that. If you don't, one of the things I'll leave you uh, in your rough draft is you need better evidence. That's something I say a lot on editorials. Um, so whenever you have a claim, make sure you support it with proper evidence. And then you guys, the analysis part is also huge. The so what, why is it important? You have to get to that portion. Um, so what? Why is, it, why is it important? Why should I care about your idea? You really need to make sure you have that as a part of your essay. Um, let's see. Oh, please know that I did attach um, a student exemplar. Uh, it's a student example from a kiddo I've had in years past, and it's a great example. So please look at that to see 
what a proficient essay does look like. Um, and then please go step by step through each of the pages in this session and use the graphic organizer as you plan. I'm not giving you points for filling out the graphic organizer, but I'm telling you right now that if you use the graphic organizer that I've provided in this session, you will be, be setting yourself up for success. Um, and it's really important that take a look at it. And if you have all of the parts of that graphic organizer, you're going to do better. So please, 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 please look at that graphic organizer. And as always, I'm here to support each and every one of you. So if you need something, please contact me sooner than later. I want to get you help and I want to get you understanding and back on the track to success as quickly as possible. Um, my number is 720-583-5565. Uh, you can call, text, or email, and email is kkhetzel at jeffcoschools.us. Um, if you guys need anything, I'm here for you. Other than that, good luck, have a great week, and reach out for help if you need it. Bye, guys. Have a great week.